Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to the viewpoints. Uh, with me, your boy, the man NJ, number two, the city with the number two in TL. By the way, I might just rename this entire thing. Um, the viewpoints still will exist, but I probably might just name what I'm about to do being like, you know, music analyst with NJ to the city or being a music analyst with NJ to the city or something like that. Because that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm pretty much being a music analyst. Um, so, again, this is pretty much me reviewing Grace of Vanderwall's new album that released, if I'm not mistaken, last November of 2017. Her album, debuted album, by the way, Just the Beginning. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, I just posted a video, a video about, you know, that's pretty much part one or part two. Actually, for album reviews, is part one. For the first video that I made on her it was sometime last year during football season, which got a thousand views. Just to let y'all continuously know that. So go look up that on this YouTube channel if you want to look up that. But um, this uh, reviewing her album, just the beginning, is pretty much part two. So Moonlight, once again, pretty good song. And the entire vibe of the album, like I said before in the first video, one thing I missed out to say, it was pretty much like a beachy vibe to a certain degree. You know, a lot of songs on this album, if not the entire album, at least a good 80%, if not 80, good 50%, but I would say a good 80% was a ton of beachy vibes, pretty much. Like you're at the beach type vibe, or you're at a, I want to say country club type vibe, or, you know, and if, you know, or I would definitely say a beach, a beachy type vibe, you know. Like a driving through the, you know, like driving over the ocean in the in the middle of summer or spring type vibe. Like literally, you know, you know, like that's just those are the vibes that if you ask me, I got from listening to the entire album. You know, like I said before, um, in the first video, songs like "Sick of Being Told," every kid on the face of this planet, and if not every kid, but a good majority of kids on the face of this planet, not even kids, kids, teens. Adults, you know, young adults, um, young adults and over, you know, they pretty much all can relate to a song such as Sick of Being Told because the majority of us all are sick of being told this, sick of being told that, you know, and we do just want to go close our eyes and just escape to a wonderland where we can just do, do and say whatever we, whatever we, we want, whenever we want and not fear the backlash of it. You know, it was to a certain degree, you know. So, like I said, songs like that, you know, when I definitely heard it, I'm th I th thought to myself, like, this is a easy catch-on for the kids. Easy catch-on for pretty much every kid out there. And if not every kid, a majority of kids. It's an easy catch-on for a majority of kids out there. And thus far, um, the video for my album review of Grace Vanderwall is just the beginning. Um, has two views. Now... No offense to those two people who viewed it, but it's amazing how that how when I posted that I I kind of was banking on it starting to get some views. If not today, hopefully tomorrow morning when I wake up I will see probably two or three. Because what's amazing that I've released Sean on it. Um, I'm always dropping new music. Um, Mackenzie Holmes, uh, New School Year, Fans of Fashion, and My Little Sisters. And none of those have gotten any views yet, and a majority of those have been out for at least a good 24 hours now. But it's overall 100 and okay. I try what I can still to put out the best content with every video that I'm uploading, with every you know thing I'm saying in the videos, with everything I'm saying in my music. I still try to put out the best content and put out the best when it comes to the, the titles of the songs and the titles of the you know videos to you know drum up perm. You know you can say drum up my own promotion right there with how clever this is. You know, with like with the cleverness of the title, the cleverness of everything's being said in the video or the song, and how I'm saying it, and what I might be doing while saying it, or whatever you want to call it, and how I'm dissecting it, and analyzing it, and you know, other stuff like that. But um, again, Grace Vanderwall, uh, new album, just the beginning, um, debut album. Let's continuously get to the rest of it. Now, um. Yeah, and again, Moonlight is a song that you definitely can listen to, I would say. You know, that's definitely a song to dance the, the night away to, if you were to ask me. That's a song you can listen to at prom, if you were to ask me. Homecoming. I think that's definitely a song that, you know, deserves those, you know, high-worthy praises and props, honestly. You know, for the overall good 
an authentic, sorry, good and authentic song that it is. Moon, Moonlight is definitely one of those. For example, I don't know how many of y'all listen to my song titled Gonna Get Married Soon, but um, one of the top reasons why I make songs like that is not only for my aspirations of what I futurely want, you know, in the next how many months or years, you know, when it comes to futurely getting officially, you know, lawfully wedded married and stuff like that, you know, and the candidates that I'm, you know, kind of, you could say, you know, um, interviewing now, you know, getting to know more and more as people to, so I can you know, make the right des your decision whenever it is time to pop the, uh, ring, um, you know, you know, pop the case open for the ring and, you know, propose to whoever, you know, you know, that is whatever, you know, yeah. Um, but, um, as well, um, and, like, the reason why I bring stuff like that up is because, um, because... Moonlight is like a song where if you were to ask me, it's a song where you can dance the night away, where you can dance the night away, and you can even open up the morning with, honestly, and even the lunchtime with it. It's like, it's a, it's a feel-good, happy, vibey song, but who am I kidding? Half this album is, if not most of this album is, comprised of songs like that, a good, happy, vibe, you know, momental song, but definitely Moonlight, I can definitely assure you, you know, is a song where you can, you definitely are, are going to want to listen to in the morning or, uh, you know, in, in, in the morning to help wake you up or at night to help dance the night away and other stuff like that. But my, that's the way, reason why I brought up my song titled, um, titled, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Gonna Get Married Soon because I pretty much, in towards the middle of the song, I pretty much, um, I, uh, I, 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 um, I was singing you know, the queens dancing the night away with their kings. I was saying that, you know, and that's kind of where I got the idea of saying that's what Moonlight kind of reminds me of is, you know, dancing the night away or, or waking up in the morning too. And like I said, sick of being told, already, you know, dissected that. And like I said before in the first video, most of this album, if not most of it, half this album is filled with those, with those, I don't know which, 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 precise instrument it is but I know it's 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 a bunch of like you know um I don't want to say ukulele but I know it's 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 a string pattern that I think I've heard plenty of times on the ukulele you know half this album is filled with that same string pattern over and over and over again as if it's like on a ukulele and I might be right it might be on a ukulele but if it's not on a ukulele it's on some type of some type of guitar so some type of you know, small guitar or some type of guitar period that you usually only hear on like beach resorts and stuff like that. You know, like the entire album or most of the entire album gives you that type of beach resort vibe, you know, and so on and so forth. You know, I can't tell you how many people listen to this. I can't tell you how many people cared about this album, but I can assure you definitely for the youth, you know, out there, past, present, and future, you know, this is an album that definitely uh, a lot of us can, a lot of us can, can relate to, whether you're, you know, as young as 12, you know, you know, whether you're, you're as young as late elementary, early middle, or, or, um, yeah, or even, um, or even a, or even a junior in a, in a high school, you know, so that, so pretty much everything I just said that was like late elementary school, early middle school, or even, you know, in the midst of, um, high school, pretty much, you know, that's the way I, I look at this entire, this entire, um, album to be, but I guess to be a more precise pattern, it'd be like late, late elementary, uh, middle, middle as like seventh grade, and then late high school as like, you could say, uh, I guess a senior year, I guess you could definitely say, um, and like I, like I, and I, I'm just saying, cause for them, by the the songs that I just got done listening to was um, about two hours ago or, or an hour ago was Talk Good, Florets, Insane Sometimes, and like, like I say, and songs like Escape My Escape My Mind. Again, that's where you would get that if you were to ask me. That's where you get that feeling of like, yeah, let me just close my eyes and imagine my winter wonderland or my wonderland period away from here, you know, in my own, in my own universe, just, you know, you know, being free, being clean, being, you know, you know, safe, secure, aware to just, you know, frolic around and do my thing, you know, 
And I can assure you that, um, shout out God bless Grace Vanderbilt's entire young career, very, very young career, because I can assure you that, you know, some of these albums definitely will be played at some weddings. Definitely, I can assure you that. It definitely will be a lot of people's anthems eventually, if not already. Florets, I can definitely see that being an album that they play at the or sorry, a song that they play at the funeral. Not sorry, not sorry. I meant to say weddings. Sorry, Florets is a song that they're definitely gonna play at the at the weddings. Just a crush is a song that again, I'm pretty sure everybody in middle school is gonna be. Everybody in elementary and middle school is gonna be jamming out to. You know, think about it when it comes to you know elementary school dating and middle school dating. A majority of kids are definitely gonna be. Because, again, in those ages, you're definitely trying to figure out what love even is. In elementary school ages and middle school ages, you're definitely trying to figure out what in the world love even is. You know, and how are you going to transition into what you feel love is at that at that age. So, definitely, Just a Crush is a song that I can definitely see a lot of elementary schools and middle schools jamming out to. Because, you know, you almost don't even, because at th those ages, you, at those ages... I don't, even, I don't, you don't even know what, what, what really cheating on someone even is at those ages, you know, and so forth and so forth. So it's, it's, it's amazing. I just, it's just my personal opinion. Just to crush is a song that all elementary schools and middle schools are definitely going to be jamming out to. I don't see many high schools jamming out to that. Because by, by high school, you definitely know what cheating on somebody is versus being faithful and committed to somebody is. You definitely know, or you definitely should know. Um, again, a better life. Gives you the better life gives you the exact same feel of feeling vibe as escape my mind. It gives you the exact same feeling and vibe, you know. And uh, city song, like I said before in the first video, city song gives me for me personally gave me a New York City vibe. Honestly, that's the first thing I thought of was like a New York City vibe with that song. Um, but if not a New York, but if not a New New York City vibe, just any type of big city vibe. With tall buildings and skyscrapers and other stuff like that, you get the point. And bridges, you know, you know, simple as that. You know, I think that 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 that, that song will give you the vibe of of any, you know, you know, city life like that. Period. Uh, darkness keeps chasing me. I literally can't explain to you specifically, you know, the vibe or or even the supposed inspiration from a song like that. But I can assure you that probably would have to do with, like, you know, dark times and how to cope with them. That would probably, my estimation, you know, I listened to the song. Can't, I can't tell you that I got the idea of it right away. You know, I probably should have. I don't know. But I can assure you that a song like Darkness Keeps Chasing Me, I would assume that's pretty much like, you know, a song. I would say that's, that's dedicated towards how to get out of the dark or, you know... Or just dealing with life's trials and tribulations, life's troubling times, and how to get through them and cope with them onward to your better tomorrow is what I would definitely assume from at least one or one or two times that I listened to that song. Um, and it's saying sometimes again, I think a lot of people again that's a that's a song that a lot of people again can relate to. Whether you, no matter what age you are, a lot of people can relate to a song. Like insane sometimes. Come on, we all can relate to that. We all act insane at times, even though half of us, for most most of us, won't won't dare to admit it. You know, we do. You know, I can and I, and I darn straight can admit it to you. I have I I do act insane at times, honestly. Until to, to to where you know I guess like again I catch myself in the action and I think to myself, you know, why did I overreact in this way? Why did I say this? Why did I say that? And then again, I'm you know, apologizing and, you know, so forth and so forth and hoping we can all, you know, stay 100 stay friends and you get the point. And before this video ends, because I don't know if I've done the review on every single song that I could think of to do a review on, the last one will be So Much More Than This. So Much More Than This immediately gave me the title or immediately gave me the feeling of my song title, um, This Is More. It just literally does. It automatically gives you that um, idea, feeling, and vibe of, like, this is more, you know, because, like I say, it's, it's about capturing more, doing, you know, capturing more, doing more, inventing, being spontaneous, you know, trying to, you know, explore more, and other stuff like that, you know, I can probably, again, go deeper and deeper and deeper into that meaning, at least for me, and what it, how it relates to me, but again, thank you all for listening, watching, viewing, subscribing, and burned, now, burned again is a song, like I say, you know, a Actually, I'll probably do another 
separate five minute video on, on that. Thank you all for listening, watching, and subscribing. It's me, your boy, the man, AJ to the city out. Take care. God bless.